first time I asked the Mets pitching coach Dan Worthen about Steven Matz, and I hadn't seen Steven pitch in a major league game yet. Dan Worthen said he's got the stuff that reminds me of Clayton Kershaw. That's how good it is. I think when you're talking about lefties, mid-90s velocity, with two reliable breaking pitches, the list is pretty darn short. I think I'm a fastball first guy. I like to attack hitters. I like to work really quick. He's got a great mentality on the mound and got a great presence about him. He's a competitor out there, so, you know, when you got a guy like him with the kind of stuff that he's got, that's a pretty good combination. I imagine Steven Matz playing for his hometown team, kid who grew up on Long Island, pitching for the New York Mets at City Field, has to be an absolute thrill. I think it's awesome. I'm pretty spoiled because I don't know anything different. My family gets to drive in, you know, to the park every time I pitch. You can definitely tell the days that he starts, the buzz in the ballpark, especially his debut being there for that was a lot of fun to see. It's got to be a lot of fun for him to, you know, just have so much family there day in and day out. And, you know, I'm sure at times it might get a little overwhelming. The fact that you've got your family close by can be a blessing and a curse, but it's got to be great to have that extra level of support to know that you've got people in the stands near and dear to your heart who are cheering for you. I think if he could draw it up, can't pick who drafts you, it worked out exactly the way that he wanted, being drafted by the Mets, getting to the big leagues with the Mets. It was taking a lot longer to develop because injuries have really been part of his story. The fact is, Health in general has been a long-term issue for Steven Matz. He missed his first two pro seasons due to Tommy John surgery. After making two starts in 2015, he had a lat strain that, that knocked him out until September. And then in 2016, uh, he pitched well for, for two-thirds of the season, but then had a shoulder strain in August that shelved him for the rest of the year. He had the elbow cleaned out at the end of last season with bone spurs causing the surgery. He's had some complications from that He's got tremendous ability. His stuff is as good as any young left-hander in the game. But there's always one word you hear with Steven Matz when you talk about potential, and that word is if. When he's there, though, and you've got Jacob deGrom, Noah Syndergaard, Matt Harvey, and him firing on all cylinders, that Mets rotation is as good as any. It's been tough to keep everybody healthy and effective, though. The biggest question for Steven Matz is just repetition, it's just getting him out to the mound, start after start, every fifth or sixth day. We've seen the talent level. Uh, this is a guy who possibly has all-star capability. I don't think he needs to change anything about his stuff. It's just a matter of making those starts. I've had some injuries so far early on. You know, when somebody calls my name to pitch, I want to take the ball and pitch, and that's my goal. 